Monty. No oh. way. Shut up. Yeah. Wow. Shut up. Yeah. How about that? Oh, welcome to the 15-Minute Morning Show podcast. Here are my new Drew House Crocs from Drew, uh, from uh, Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. So nice. cute. I love those little giblets or gibbets, whatever the hell they call What are they called? <laughs> what are they? Gibbets. 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 I think they're gibbets. Gibbets, gibbets is yeah. gravy. Oh, They're yeah, gibbets. <laughs> he also sent me, uh, some, he sent me some Drew House socks. Because you have to wear white knee socks or yep. ankle socks with uh, your Crocs. You do. Oh socks and Crocs. Crew socks, man. yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, Justin. It's awesome. Hey, so we're all here. There's Froggy. Hello there. Who had just a, he, he actually was looking forward to getting out of the weekend and back to the week. <laughs> I was. Because he had such, such a bad weekend. Uh, here's Gandhi, and there's Danielle, and there's Hi. Scotty B. Uh, there's Scary. There's Straight Nate, who looks like he smells. Oh, God, no. <laughs> but he does sometimes. We know that. You do smell it's sometimes. Okay. Today, and there's Garrett, and there's, uh, oh, there's Dave Brody in the den. Hi, Dave Brody in the den. Hello, Elvis Duran in the house. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I've been. If you're watching this, you, you'll you'll see what my my issue is. Behind me, I have this what's called a step and repeat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's just cardboard panels actually, but these little black r rivets. <laughs> yeah. So I, I need to color them in with a white sharpie. So I'm going to do that while you guys have a 15 minute. <laughs> <minute show. laughs> Let's see how this looks. Do we think this will work? Yeah, I, I think yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, I did it below. Okay. No, see, so if I do one, I have to do all of them. And I don't feel like doing a lot of work today. <laughs> well, can they just do one? I want to see how good it looks. Just do one. Hey, do one of them. Okay, what, what's that uh, name? Can we explain what a step and repeat is? Yeah. Yes. People? Go ahead. Well, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know that. You see, it, you see it a lot on red carpets, like for, for movie premieres. Uh, so it's when the celebrities get out of their limos and they stand in front of this wall that's normally sponsored by uh, a drink Mercedes. Or, or Mercedes, yeah. like for Elvis. <laughs> and uh, they, the photographers, all the paparazzi go, hey, look this way, look this way. They take a photo and then it ends up online and then yeah. you see, you, that's what you see. But and you want to know why it's called Step and Repeat? Why? I just looked it up because I was like, why the hell is it called that? It says the first is the action of having talent step onto the red carpet, pose for the photographers, and leave while the next person follows and repeats the process. That is not true. I heard. It's the logo. I heard the logo is a step, like a staircase, and repeat. Like so. That, see how it's diagonal with the Elvis Duran Show logo followed by Mercedes? Yeah. Daniel's no makes more sense, though. Yeah, mine, I, mine thought Dan I always heard sense. it was Danielle's. Yeah, that's the I way heard, I always I heard was told it was. Then somebody, somebody uh, then I'm today years old when I find out that that's the right <laughs> word. Wow. I, I, we are kind of both such right. a vicious, vicious argument here on the show. <laughs> right. about, about but it's also step incredibly and annoying when these step and repeats make it on some TV show and they blur out the logo. You could still tell it's Mercedes because of the, you know, the logo, but they blur it out so they don't get a little extra free advertising. It's mm. obnoxious. Like on a TV show, when you see a Tide bottle, they blur the logo. You know it's Tide. It's freaking orange. You know, it's yeah, annoying. but sometimes you'll These see a celebrity in front of our iHeart logos at one of our events, and, they're, and they'll just leave it. There's iHeart logos all over behind yeah. them. You see it a lot yeah. with Taylor Swift or Justin Bieber or any of those people. Yes. And, uh, and every once in a while, we'll, we'll have a guest come in and do their show, and they'll have the Elvis Duran logo behind them, and then they're, like, arrested. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what was the latest one? Wasn't it uh, Carl Lentz or something? Yep. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, he wasn't arrested. He, wasn't, he was not arrested. No, he no, wasn't no, arrested. No, no. But no, these these step and repeat logos they they show up all the time yeah. around the world, and so when you know if you, if you need a photo of a celebrity, look, there's a photo of them while they were on our show. It's genius. All right, can you but color? Repeat, can you color one? I want to see if it works. No, no, because I have to do all of them. Yeah, I know, but you can do all four. You can just there you go. Look, look, I just want to see how good it works. It's gonna be like this. Is gonna be so satisfying if it works. I know. By right? the way, I looked up on Wikipedia, and it looks like they're leaning toward my definition. I looked it up and it says both are acceptable. Okay. Yeah, both so, kind of are acceptable. So nanny, but. nanny, poo, poo, put your head in doo doo. Do you think Picasso's <laughs> friends sat around watching him paint? That, that doesn't look 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 no, no. It looks no. gray now. Oh. It doesn't look any different, really. That's okay. Yeah, I tried. You need oh. white out. Do you have white out? You can just or paint over it. With what white if you out. took like a I'll, mailing I'll label it. and just cut a circle hey. on the mailing label and just put it over top of it? I think that's where I'm going to go. So yeah. I mm. just, I just, you know, since we were talking about step and repeat why it's called that, I Googled why are things called what they are and there's this <laughs> article on playbuzz.com that's such a dad why thing are th why are jars used to hold loose change and money called piggy banks does anybody want to oh why? tell us why no they called piggy banks it's derived from an earthenware vessel known to ancients as pig pots p-y-g-g -G pots how about that hmm. 
not huh. really interesting. Huh. I would have gotten that wrong on Jeopardy. Like, I definitely would have gotten Wait. that wrong on Jeopardy. What are they, pots? Pig, they, they made banks that looked like pigs because of the jar? Well, I guess that's what people just started to call them piggy banks and used a pig because of the... Oh, that's awesome. Well, do you know salary, where the word salary comes from? Sal? No. Sal is salt in Latin, and they used to receive part of their pay in salt because that was a very precious commodity. No oh. way! Shut up! Yeah. Wow. Shut up! Yeah. How about that? How Can old were you, Scary? Yeah, how old were you? I was when you today years that? old when I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to wring your neck. Yeah. That's, that expression's got to go. Well, I want to tell you something I did, and uh, I think you'll appreciate this. You know, in this world where we all like to be right, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, I'm starting to do this thing where if I know that someone says something that's not correct, I'll leave it alone. I won't wow. correct them. Wow, you should teach Brody that. Oh, Brody no, he'll implode. two words. I know. And you're <laughs> jumping on no, but no, That's an observation. That's an observational behavior. We've had conversations about it, and he knows that he's got to correct someone. He goes, dur, dur, took every muscle in my Is body true, to Brody? not correct them. I think there are other people on this chat that also do that and did it on air today. It's very hard. I not think to. a lot of us are guilty of that. <laughs> Well, you know what? So I saw a video online. It's it's going viral. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, a newswoman, she takes a shot at a basketball hoop. It goes around the rim. And while it's going around the rim, she thinks it's going in. So she turns around. The producer next to her stays and sees it not go in. And she's like, yay, I made it. And he high fives her and congratulates her. He never tells her it didn't go in. Oh, she has no idea. That's and so cute. I'm like, that guy's being a nice guy. Like, he didn't yeah, want to go, hey, he, you missed he, it, by the way. He so wants to have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's it's, ugly, he tells her. It's, it's somewhat natural to, if someone says something that's not correct, to correct them. It's just, it, but sometimes you can leave it. It just depends on what it is. Right. You pick, you pick and choose. Like, does it really matter? Right. Am, am I really going to going to save a life if I correct them, or can we just move on? Yeah, but if it's your kids, like I'll correct my my daughter if she writes "you're" the wrong way. I'm going to tell her. I don't oh, want of her course. to, right. you know. You should. Yeah. But I'll also tell you. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. So that's that just letting you know. I'm just trying to grow up a little now that I'm you know approaching however old I am. <laughs> it's Today okay years to, old. It's okay to let other people. When it's, Elvis, it's okay. Yes, I would like to say in regards to Skiri, I've gotten much better at not correcting people and pointing it out. In fact, on a phone call yesterday with Skiri, he said me and my girlfriend Robin three times, and I didn't say anything to him that that was poor grammar. Wow. See how impressed I am? Oh, that's See, great, Brody. You let it go until we were in the room where everyone's going to <laughs> well, hear it. Well, and I'm, then I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not correcting him. See, I'm you did a good job, Brody. Brody. You did well. To show <laughs> that it's gotten better. Brody, yeah. That has been festering away in your head. No, no, no. no. He's waiting. And now nope. you finally got it out. It's like I'm, oh. I'm just very proud of myself for <laughs> not correcting him <laughs> every time he said me and Robin. <laughs> but you just did. Now, Elvis, no, no, this... I pointed out that he said it. I didn't tell him he was wrong. You did. If you're watching this on our Instagram, he, here's the basketball shot. Watch. She misses it, and the guy, watch this. It, yeah. Oh, and then oh. he's like, watch, he high fives oh. her. Yeah, you made it. Yeah. <laughs> that would never be better. Oh, that's great. I think you know he thought it, it went in, too. I think he thought it went in, too. <laughs> it goes literally right off Did the you side. see what I posted on my Instagram story yesterday? It says, choose being kind over being right, and you'll be right every time. Oh. There you go. Mm -hmm. Did you see hard. how kind I was? Not correcting it's, scary? It's difficult. I know, it but, is. But no, but you've corrected him four times now. <laughs> no. I haven't have. corrected him. I pointed out how I didn't correct him. <laughs> right. But, but right. 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 how you didn't correct him, it's correct. Okay, but let me ask <laughs> you this. What, what if, about. okay, Elvis. You're what right, if, Elvis. <laughs> what if one of your friends, for example, posts something on Instagram, and instead of no, they use K-N-O-W instead of N-O? Do you right. tell them? I would tell them. Do you tell yeah, them and then you them. seem like that guy or do you just let them look like an idiot? I, no, probably, I would tell them because, to because you know people are going to call them out. So you're like, look, before people start calling you out on this, just correct it. Certain I would, mistakes I would are more embarrassing know. than others, I think. Well, right? Well, I, I know, for instance, everyone that's on this podcast, everyone that's in this room, if you use the wrong, wrong no or the wrong your, we know you're smarter you're, you're smart, and it was a mistake. You yeah. Didn't, you're, you didn't do it because you just don't know. Right. And so it, it, people make mistakes all the time. That's, that's 
just natural. You make mistakes. Right. We, but pointing them out all the time. I like, once posted that it was the wrong day of the week, and Froggy, Froggy texted me, hey, are you wasted? Because she just posted that it was a she, different no, day. She posted Sunday fun day on Saturday morning. I'm like, uh, Danielle, you know it's Saturday. <laughs> yeah, July 4th, she said Merry Christmas, and I just let it go. And I didn't want to be a dick. Go. Danielle, was, I was not a dick about it, was I? I was nice. No, no. And I was laughing. I'm like, oh, okay. shit. Thanks for pointing I, that out. I was just guilty on the text messaging. I, I, I'll admit it. Someone just texted in, why does Nate whine when he speaks? But they spelled it W-I-N-E. Oh. So I wrote them back that it's W-H-I-N-E. Oh, oh, God. God. Brody. I have to defend Nate grammatically anyway. <laughs> but a lot of mistakes nowadays are because of voice to text. You know, people not going back and correcting it. That's right. that's sure. you know, happens a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Do you remember when Greg T, we were talking, he thought the word nowadays was now in days? <laughs> Aww. He, he was today years old when he learned the real one. Elvis would say, bless his heart. Bless his heart. Have, you, I, have you guys seen the video with Chris Stefano, a friend of our show, comedian, with Sal from the Impractical Jokers? And he's talking about his kids and how he packs up their lunch every day in Tupperware with a B. Oh, Tupperware. Tupperware. And Sal Tupperware. says, did you just say Tupperware? <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah. My whole life, why? He says, because it's Tupperware. And he's my, it's a great clip. He's like, what are you talking about? It's Tupperware. He's convinced it's Tupperware. <laughs> I was hey, arguing babe, with a, a, an, an employee the other day here, and they wrote in, the, in an email, they spelled out, for all intensive, I-N-T-E-S-I-V-E, -E, intensive purposes. Oh. I ended the argument. I'm like, never mind, I'm done. It's intensive, number one. <laughs> and it's not, it's intense and purposes, number two. I'm like, I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you could be a scholar. You could be a very, very, very learned individual and still have that one thing that you've been getting wrong your entire life. Right. And, right. You, and, you, and no one ever corrects you or you just somehow get through years and yeah. years of life without ever learning the real way to say that word. Right. I, there have been a few of those for me. Mm -hmm. It happens. Does it Something change your opinion things. of a person if they do it over and over again? Like if you see a friend and they use your or your wrong all the time, do you go like, they're not as smart as I thought they were. A little bit. Well, <laughs> yeah. A little bit. So so I, Alex has one. Alex, yeah. can you hear me? Uh, no. So Alex, he's he calls it ash fault. Ash fault. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, uh. what? So I said it's it's an I said it's asphalt. I got a right? question you know for you then. I'm, I'm trying to mm -hmm. have a conversation, Scary. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's looking at his phone, not at the screen that no, we're talking to. But he says, <laughs> he, and I'm like, it's it's asphalt. You know it's asphalt, right? He's like. No, it's not. No, no, it is. It's asphalt. Do you think asphalt. it's because it's hot? It's ashes? Is that what he's saying? I don't know. He's like, oh my God, my entire life I've been saying it wrong. I'm so like, does that change your opinion of him at all? No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, yes, Gary. You so may I, my, my question to you, specifically Elvis, is what has changed in your life that you've made this adjustment where you let people... I'm not people... an asshole to everyone? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you just let people like make their mistake and not correct them. Like, what it's is just, it? Was it a moment? Is it something, an epiphany you had? The, the question is, why, why am I doing it? If you want to correct everyone, w w what's going to come out of it? If it's if someone on the show make, says something and it's a mistake and it needs to be corrected because it it changes the entire story or whatever, that's fine. Maybe we should bring it up. Maybe we should correct them. But if it really isn't going to matter. If you correct them or not, what's the point? Make why, why do I want to make people, okay. people feel like crap? That's cool. That's fair enough. I like that answer. Okay. okay. Elvis, does Alex say ex espresso or espresso? No, he says espresso correctly. Because a lot of people from where he and I are from, Staten Island, say expresso. Expresso. Well, a lot of yeah. people everywhere say, they think it's espresso because it's it make, it's express. It's fast. Yeah. It's not. It's espresso. But I think you know it's it's a common mistake, right? Yeah. Yeah. My no. girlfriend Karen says kindergarten. What? And I never, and I never want to correct her because it sounds Why? so cute when she says, you know, in kindergarten. And I'm like, what? Like K I N D Y garden? <laughs> yeah, kindergarten. <laughs> so if you correct her, what does it change? I mean, what? Is yeah, exactly. It, it sounds cuter twice. the way she says it anyway. I think. Yeah. <laughs> My three-year-old says diaper, and I'm trying to correct her to say diaper. It's a diaper. Well, she's three. Well, I yeah. say some words wrong, but I know She'll they're wrong. So I say it wrong just because I like the way it sounds better. Like I don't call mm -hmm. it a pumpkin. I call it a pumpkin. Because I like the way pumpkin sounds. It just sounds cuter. Okay. I like the. I want. I'm much more attracted to a pumpkin than a. No, then you, then you can't laugh at kindergarten. You're attracted to a pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. You want to come over and eat um, my pumpkin? I, I've been told uh, by Straight Nate that we're out of time. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we are. We have ten seconds left. 
Usually wow. it's Froggy that tells us we're out of time. That yeah. means Nate's not interested in our conversation. <laughs> well, he doesn't want us to bring he up Reese's out. Pieces. He doesn't like pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. The, the fact that he calls, calls him Reese's, he calls him Reese's yeah. Pieces. Doesn't yeah. rhyme with feces. You're not getting away, Reese's Nate, before we end this. Pieces. No. They're uh, Reese's. They belong to Reese. No. They're his. Reese's Pieces. pieces. Nobody right. would eat them if they're called Reese's Pieces. Really? Somebody's eating them. I'm sure they do. Yeah, they seem to be. They seem to be doing okay in business. What do you think? Uh, All right, we got to get out of here. Thanks for stopping by for 15 minutes of actually nothing. We've accomplished nothing. Bye. 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 Bye.